Hello everybody and welcome back to another Totally Pointless video and yet another fake martial arts masters exposed. Today we're going to be taking a look at the infamous yellow bamboo. Good. 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 Yes, Magnus. Good. Good. A mixture between a cult, a philosophy and a bunch of middle-aged people that have no idea which direction to take their life in. Now I've managed to find some of the best bits of Yellow Bamboo, there's going to be a very comprehensive look at the beliefs and experiences of members of the Yellow Bamboo cult, I mean society. So don't be frightened of your passion and your dark energy. Please use it in this. So if you find you've got uh, feelings coming up, then just use it more in the practice. So first of all, you need to build it up. Put our hands on the belly, like this. You can put the thumbs up if you like. It's to make contact with our source of power, the hara, the tantien, center of energy in the body. And when I say breathe out, we and you blow out a black smoke, which is all the negativity, the tiredness, anything that is pain in your body, just breathe it out. And you keep your breath out and you tighten the body. Well, thanks, Professor Snape. I appreciate the defense against the dark arts class. However, his methodology for releasing the, the negativity, it's somewhat reminiscent of Snoop Dogg's philosophy, except he's missing one of the key ingredients. We and you blow out a black smoke, which is all the negativity, the tiredness, anything that is pain in your body, just breathe it out. And first of all, you look to the right and you imagine all this energy around your body and you feel yourself pulling it in. But you tighten the hold of the body, looking to the right, pull the energy in, looking to the left and the same. Pull it in here with your mind. And then I say, look up. Pull the energy down into your body and lock it in the belly. Look up, look up. Yes, it's coming out this way. Good. Push down. Hands together. Hands back on the belly. As soon as you get to chest height, then cross the arms. Keep your focus. Cross the arms, bend the legs. So now you imagine there's huge chains all around the body, right up to the head. And when I say break the chains, open the hands, send the energy out the back of the hands, out the whole of the body. And it looks like this. So you're coming down. And I say, bend your knees, cross the arms. And then break the chains. Pulling in from the right. Pulling in from the left. Looking up, breathe in. Use your voice this time. Break the chains. <laughs> This shit is like a f***ing fever dream. I haven't got the slightest clue what is going on. But I'll tell you one thing for a fact, I'm stiffer than an aged diamond. It will come as no surprise to anyone that the man with the biggest belly is able to store the most chi, and therefore he is having the biggest convulsions. Your connection, be aware of your body. When the hands come to here, bend your knees arms apart, nice and big, lots of space. You're going to send the energy out of here and energy out of here. See what happens in the middle. Keep going and keep breathing. You can breathe as much as you like and make space to breathe in. Tighten the whole body, cross the arms. Looking to the right, pull the energy in. Looking to the left, looking up. Breathe in, pull the energy in. Pull it down. When you get to the chest, bend the knees, arms apart and Push the energy out the hand. Big breath. Yes, keep breathing. Good, good, good. More power, more power. More passion, more power. Big. Look into the hands. Look into the hands. Look. Look into the space between. Yes. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Yes, Magnus. Good, good. 
course this bloody moron's name's Magnus. What's his full name? Magnus Erectus Coccus. I mean, wh what's this guy on? He's probably going through a divorce, his wife and kids have left him, he's got crippling debt and he's like, Do you know what? I'm gonna go out and stand on a beach and pretend I'm bloody Raiden. Yes! Did he just throw away a knit out of his hair? What was that? So, you've got a lot of power, but it's not really coming out. Okay? Real focus. Out, now, everything. Somebody's life depends on it, so it's now or never. Yes, okay, I get you now. Thank you for that noise. That noise encapsulates everything I've been doing wrong up until this point in my life. Got a lot of power, but it's not really... Yes, good, good. Look into your hands. Into the face, between the hands. Oh, damn. Yes. Good, good. Oh, shit. Oh, Big my power. man. She's feeling the power. Good, good, good. Good, good. Look into the hands. Look into the hands. How's coming out there? Big breath. Good. Look into the hands. Yes, good. I beg the camera just pans out and it's an advert for like a mental institute. So keep your focus. Keep your to try defending themselves. Well, it'll work, so it doesn't... If you're ready, actually, and you're ready. Do you want to do this? It's like pushing forward. With a shout. Are you ready? Yes, come here. You don't have to touch. Can you come, Magnus and uh, Rebecca? So, if you stand here, you stand here, and Magnus and Rebecca, you pre prepare her, and... Uh, I don't know when I'm going to come, so you have to prepare her quick. Story of my life, brother. There's nothing to be ashamed about. That premature situations affect at least one in ten men. And Cameron is today's biggest loser. Well, who cares if she fractured a femur because, you know, it worked. Ooh. Okay, you ready to join us in the circle? I think she's really connected to to like the deep power of being yeah. so close to death and be, you know, she touching. She is, but she's also like, she's, she's like really she's touching tired, on, you know? Touching on all these powers and on deep emotion. I be, I, you know, when you say, yeah. you know, she's connected, you know, I feel yeah. that she has given up. That is my feeling, you know? I felt that she was not able to protect herself. It is scary, it's a lot of power moving, but I, it's really good, you know? I never believed really, you know, that he went for, for, you know, through, you know, and now I saw, so I'm really, this is really, I've, this is really good, you know. I'll tell you what, hippie, I'll go give you a right hook across the chops when you're not expecting it, and then we'll have a good discussion afterwards about how good it is. Oh, the thing is, as you can see, I'm not faking it. There you go, he had to sacrifice one innocent old lady just to try and prove he's not a sham. So all you have to do, you're not trying to knock me down, you're just defending yourself, you'll see, you'll see energy moving, and what you do, 
is it doesn't matter if people in the way, anything, you see me moving as soon as you see me move. Everything you got in there, you push it out. What, can we do it? We can do it. Hold on. Let's go. Sure. Wow, so believable. If you ever want to make someone believe you're a good fighter, just go and right hook your nan, then go up to other people and they'll believe you're a real, real cool, intimidating cat. Good practice. Okay. Let's just uh, get together a circle and finish off. And I'm like, well, you're not going to get past. Mm -hmm. also, I don't want you to, it's just you're not, and that's it. So yeah. it's really. Your positive thinking, you just go, no, it's, this is just going to happen. This isn't going to happen. And that's that. And you can deal with it how you'll be poised. Yeah. And it works. It's just a mental visualization that you know without a sand grain of doubt that it works. And then it does. But you can't work with this energy with doubt. Um, so she'll be fine. Yeah, you stupid old crone. That's what happens when you doubt me. I lay your ass out. But not if you're a man, and not if you're bigger than me, because be, because then your chakras will work. Big, big chakra powers. Big up the chakra. And your f***ing disaster come in us here with your f***ing victim! What? Your f***ing victim! Don't come here, you f***ing king! The victim and the king is the same thing! It's exactly the same! There is not, not the, 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 something. It is exactly the same. What? You said that you are the king and I'm the victim. Think about it. It's the same thing. I have no idea what that outburst was about, but the latest episode of Coronation Street is just getting weirder and weirder. The dramas are just getting more and more obscure. But if you think the videos end there, think again, buckaroo. As with all of these fake martial arts type videos, I always like to try and find a video where the fake practitioner will fight a real martial artist, and I've done just that for you. But if you've enjoyed this video and want to see many more fake martial artists and other related videos, do not forget to subscribe, and please, please, for the love of dear Jeebus, like the video. Hey, believe harder. Rear chokeholds won't work if you're in belief. <laughs> big Mac attack then tries it himself. It does not end any better. Now granted it was a very big struggle to lift a man from the ground. That was no impact of chi. That was an impact of BMI. And here we have a little infomercial for yellowbamboo.com. Everyone get your wallets and PayPal's ready because you're going to be sending them hella money. <laughs> First time our own experience. This film is not about religion, or particularly this group of yellow shirts, and there is no theory we are trying to prove or disprove. Damn. 
why don't police just use that as crowd control? You know, when there's rioting going on in the world or when the when the Hungarians were invading the Great Wall of China, they should have just tied these people hanging off the edge. So when the armies marched in, you just scream. And I mean, what do you do against power like that? How can you fight power like that? Now I found this video and I included it because it made me laugh. Now you might not be able to tell immediately, but one of those pixels are actually yellow bamboo members. I know, crazy, but that there are people amongst those blur of pixelated colors. Now, while I was on my travels, I also managed to find a Yellow Bamboo Levels 1 and 2 training video that people would actually pay for to learn how to live and practice the way of the Yellow Bamboo. The video has been long enough as it is, okay? So I can look at this. It's a two hour long video explaining how to be like Yellow Bamboo. So if you want to see me talk about this and break it apart and show everything bit by bit, leave a like and just comment that you want to see it. If there's enough demand, I'll do it, but you know, it's a very long video, so that is definitely gonna have to be its own video. Let me know if there's good enough feedback, then yeah, I'll go through it, but only if you guys wanna see it. What we're gonna be covering today is everything that you need to know to do your level one and level two daily practice. Now I did try to look up the yellowbamboo.com website to see if I could find any more hilarious footage or information about the cult, I mean uh, society, but actually yellowbamboo.com is no longer an occupied website, so anyone can snap that up to purchase if you want to call yourself, but yeah. I don't imagine that Yellow Bamboo is doing too well if they can't even afford what was, I imagine, a basic, non-cost intensive website. But look, I'm going to end the video there, ladies and gentlemen. Please let me know if you enjoyed this one and if you want to see that video I talked about earlier. Thank you all so much for helping me pass 10,000 subscribers, nearly back to the original 20k of the old channel, and I'm very grateful for all the support. You guys have been great. Looking forward to hearing everyone comment how they're a level 200 martial artist and how they could beat me up and all that great stuff. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.